you are here because you wanted to know how coding works in data science and also you are so much afraid of coding but you are fond of learning data science or this coding properly so that you can become a data scientist that's why you are here right do not worry this session is going to give you a complete clarity and step by step guidance what is this data science because you are all are confused everybody are talking about data science and ai how it is related i'm so good i'm so confused so you all are here that's why this particular session is for you which is going to give you a complete clarity do not skip anything because this is something for you personally made it so you will have a clarity before you jump into the things so here you are going to know how coding works in data science what are the steps involved in a data science project everything you are going to learn step by step okay watch the session to get the complete clarity all right let's decode data science now in this video we'll be looking into what is data science now before we get into what is data science we need to understand why do we need data science and then we'll be going into what is data science what are the components key components present in data science which language as a data scientist you are going to use for scripting or for coding and what level of coding do you need to learn to become a data scientist we'll be taking one real time example to understand this how simple it is and then we'll also be looking into the difference between data science and artificial intelligence how is this data science related to this artificial intelligence all right so let's quickly dive into first question why do we need data science now can you take a guess how much amount of data is generated annually per year how much amount of data is being generated right so here if you see the statistics per year we are generating almost around 150 zettabytes of data in 2024 right now now sir what is the zettabyte see one zettabyte is equals to these many gbs wow that's a huge number right so what do we have to do when we have a huge amount of data are we able to make use of all the data effectively no so this is where we need a science which can deal with data all right we need a science which can deal with data so this is where data science comes into the picture okay so now let's try to understand the definition of a data science before that let's try to see one small example let's consider i have two columns okay the first one is h and the other one is salary okay so let's quickly go with i have two columns one is h and another one is salary okay now let's consider i have ages 21 20 21 22 23 oh sorry 23 24 okay and the salary for 18 years oh, sorry 20 uh, years is 18000 19 uh, okay let's go with to to increment 20000 22000 can you take a guess what will be the salary for the age 23 can you take a guess what will be the salary for the age 24 yes what is the salary for 23 it is 24000 and for the people who are age whose age is 24 it is 26000 okay so how were you able to guess this basically what we did we identified the pattern what was the pattern here as age is increasing by 1 my salary is increasing by 2 so this is the pattern correct so we have a data from this data we took out some pattern with the help of some signs this is nothing but a data science right now let's look into the official definition for data science See, what is data science is basically it is the field which uses scientific methods process or algorithms to extract knowledge and insights or information from structured and unstructured data okay now so what is the structured and unstructured that see structured data is something where i have data in the form of rows and columns where the data is in the form of rows and columns 
And unstructured data is the data where I have images, videos, all these things are our unstructured data. Okay, I hope the definition of data science is clear. Right, so always remember, go with this key terminology, data science. From data, we are extracting some important information. It's a kind of science which we are performing. All right, so now next thing we need to understand what are the key components present in a data science? Or as a data scientist, what are the different things you're going to perform? Right. So in any project, what is the very first thing we need? We need to collect the data. Right. Then only you are going to perform some other operations, right? So first step is to collect the data. There are various sources of collection of the data. One will be from the client or either we have to do web scrapping. There are various things which we need to perform, which we will see in detail later on. And then after getting the data, do you think the data will be in the clean format? No, there will be some extra unnecessary informations available in the data, right? So those informations, I need to remove it. So that is nothing but data cleaning and pre-processing. All right, after that, we are going to extract some important informations, extract some insights from the data. Okay, some basic visualizations we are going to do. So we have collected the data, we have cleaned the data, and then we are doing some visualization. Right. And after that, we'll go one step forward where we will identify the patterns like we have done in that uh, age and salary problem, right? As age is increasing by one, salary was increasing by how much? Salary was increasing by two. So like this patterns, our machine learning model will be able to identify. So then we are going to build a model. Right? What is model? See, CAT GPT, it's also a model, AI model. Right? So we are going to get this logic, okay? And this logic is given to the model. Right. And then after building this model, what we need to do? Can we keep that model with us? No. We need to deploy it. We need to give out to the users. This is where we are going to go with model deployment. And then after just deploying, we need to maintain the model, update the model. Right. So that is nothing but our model maintain. So these are all the key components as a data scientist we can expect to perform. From collecting the data, to cleaning the data, to getting the insights, to building a model, and deploying the model for the users to maintaining the model. So these are some of the basic key components as a data scientist we need to perform. Okay, I hope this is clear. Then, now the question is, which language do we use as a data scientist? In which language do you code? Right, so to get to this, let's do one thing. Let's quickly see what are the four most popular languages available now. We have C, C++, Java, and Python, correct? Now, what we will do is we will try to print hello world with the help of all the four languages and you can tell me which language is easy. All right, so let's do that. So what we are doing, we are printing this hello world program with all the four different languages. This is the first program as a programmer we typed, right? So let's try to go with this. I think you remember from your college days when we used to study in engineering and all, when we had the C++, we used to buy hard this, correct? Hash include stdio.h, t1io.h, right? I hope you are able to read it with me, okay? So here, if you can see, just to print this one hello world, just to print this hello world, in C, we need so many lines. When it comes to C++, again, so many lines. When it comes to Java, again, we have this big of content. But when it comes to Python, just one word. Print hello world, that's it. Now, in this four languages, which language do you think is the most easiest one? Yes, which one? Python. We are lucky. Let's see why we are lucky. Because if you see what language is used as a coding for data science or data science uses which language. So what is the answer? Lucky for us, we have Python. All right, so now let's try to go with one use case where what we will do is we'll try to uh, 
build a model. Okay, before that, let's consider I have a job where I will be giving you a flower. Okay, so this is iris flower. There are three different varieties of iris present. So I'll be giving you a job where you need to sit and identify based on the looks, whether it is versicola, whether it is certosa, or whether it is virginica. So you need to identify these three things. Okay, will you be able to do this? Yes, practically it is possible, but you'll get bored. Okay, then what we will do? We will build a machine learning model, which will be able to identify what category this is, whether the flower is versicola, whether the flower is certosa, or whether the flower is virginica. Right. So let's try to build this model. Okay, so let me quickly share the code for that. All right, so I hope the screen is visible for the code. Let me check it once, cross check, yeah. All right, so here what we are doing, we are building a machine learning model, right? So you can see how easy it is to build a model, right? So see, I'm going to first import all the necessary libraries, right? So Python is mainly based on libraries. So there are so many libraries available for us, which makes our task very easy. Just call the function and your work is done. Okay. So I'm going to first import all the necessary libraries. Here we have Panda, Strain Test Split, Random Classifier, and Accuracy Score. So people who have already studied data science, they will be able to relate with each and every library. It's very simple. I'm importing the library. Okay, so what is our step one, Nasir? Step one is nothing but where I'm importing all the required libraries. All right, after that, what we are going to do? We are going to load the data for that iris. They have collected the data based on sepal length, petal length, sepal width, and petal width. They have collected the data. Okay, so what is our second step? Second step is load the data. Okay. Anyhow, here the data is already clean, so we are not going to go with the pre-processing and cleaning operation. But in real time, we have to collect the data and then we have to clean the data first, pre-process the data, right? And then we'll be able to perform all the model building operation. All right, so here the data is already clean. Right? So I'm going to divide it into two things, X and Y, where my X is input and Y is output, okay? So what are the things present in my X? I have four things, right? Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, right? So based on these four things, I will be able to classify the given flower, whether it is Satosa, whether it is, uh, what was that, two more classes, right? So that we'll be able to identify. Okay, so what we are doing here, first step to import all the required libraries. This is clear, Nasser. Next, what we need to do, use this, data or use this library to import the data i'm loading the data set and i'm separating out my x column and y column where x is my input and y is my output okay you can clearly see here very simple okay after this what we need to do is we need to divide our data into train and test because if you're building a model and you're training the model okay you're training a model now you need to test this model as well, right? So this is the reason why we are dividing it into train test split. Very simple, again, one line. Okay, then after dividing it into train test split, I'm going to train the model. That's it. If I just say random forest.classifier.fit, I'm giving our training data X and Y train, our model has been trained. With how many lines? How many lines did we type till now? If you see here, how many lines we have gone through? Uh, here we have four. Here we have four, eight, nine, ten. Within ten lines, we have built a model which can classify the different varieties of iris flower. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it very simple? Right. Okay. And then what? I'm creating a dump of this file. I'm creating a pickle file. All right. Now this pickle file, I can give it to the model. The model is now artificial intelligent model. All right, so this easy, it is scripting. So please do not worry with respect to the coding and 
do not stop yourself from learning these things. You can see it's very simple. Huh? We are lucky because this is Python. If it was any other language, it would have been really difficult. But Python does not have any brackets and all those things. All right. So this is how we'll be able to just with 15 to 20 lines of code, I'm able to build a machine learning model, which is able to identify what type of iris flower it is. All right. So now let's quickly jump back to our presentation. Right. So within three minutes, we have gone through one model, right? It's amazing. All right. Now let's try to see what is the difference between data science and AI. Now, whenever I say AI, what comes in your mind? Does this kind of image comes in your mind? No, right? Okay. So let's try to understand what is the difference between these two terminologies, data science and AI. Okay. So again, let me take the same example where I had that age and salary, right? If you remember, we had age and salary, right? So let's quickly do this. 20, 21, 22, 23, and the salary were uh, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, the numbers have changed, but again, the pattern remains the same. What is the pattern? When age is increasing by one, my salary is increasing by two. Okay, right, so this is the pattern which we have identified. Right, so this is nothing but data science we have mentioned where we are identifying the pattern or we are identifying the logic. Now, when this logic, I'm giving it to my machine, this machine is becoming artificial intelligent. Now I'll ask, okay, the name of this robot is Mini. Hey Mini, what would be the salary if my age is 25? Mini, what will you say? Mini will say the answer is 28,000 only right so see here we are identifying the pattern and this logic or this intelligence we are putting it into the machine this is an artificial intelligence right so please understand this ai and data science are one and the same thing they cannot be separate entities they go hand in hand so we have understood why do we need data science we have understood what is data science and then we have gone through the key components present in data science then we have seen uh, which language is used and then we have also gone through one real-time application uh, which made it very clear hope the question which we had initially in our mind that data science uh, is it really tough in the scripting and all those things that question has been answered after watching this video i don't think you should be afraid of coding and if you want to have more clarity and if you need an assistance with regards to ai and data science feel free to reach out to us the number of our team is given in the description have a great day thank you